The Great Palace Mosaic Museum is located in the Sultan Ahmed Mosque Square within the Arasta Bazaar. The museum, which also offers audio guidance services, is open every day of the week except for Mondays. It has been formed in the northeastern section of the Great Palace's cloister belonging to the East Roman era, which includes the intact mosaic layings that have survived. The museum is a unit subordinated to the Hagia Sophia Museum. The atrium columnar courtyard, where the mosaics are located, is where Sultan Ahmed Mosque's shopping complex was built on a peristylium in the later years. It is a part of the Great Palace which was built between 450 and 550 AD, also known as the Bacolian Palace. Researchers of St Andrews University in Edinburgh, Scotland were able to excavate this great peristylium in the centre of the palace veranda and a few other structures in the 1930s. These structures, which were above an artificial veranda formed by underground cupolas, cover an area of approximately 4,000 square metres. The chambers surrounding the courtyard are encircled by 10 by 12 Corinth style columns. It is highly probable that the mosaic area prepared by the expert artisans of the time, guided by the forthcoming masters, had only been able to bring out an area of 180 square metres. The mosaic stones are formed by limestones, terracotta and colourful stones with a size of approximately 5 millimetres. The depictions are in the style of Opus Vermicolatum and have been inserted within the marble pieces. While on the white marbles in the background, a technique of fish scales have been applied. Furthermore, the frames of the depictions, which form the mosaics, have been lined with contours. This mosaic, which has a surface area of 1,872 square metres, is one of the biggest portrayals of various landscapings that has survived up until today since the late ancient times. On the mosaics that have survived, there are 150 human and animal figures and 90 different themes. The main mosaic illustration is 6 metres in width. Apart from this, there also are colourful depictions lined up in four frieze bands. On the inner and outer linings of the mosaic, there is a 1.5 metre frame featuring embellishments in the form of acanthus leaves. The main illustration of the mosaic needs to be observed from the courtyard of where the peristylium is located. The direction of movement of the illustrations begins from the northeastern hall, from the left to the right. In other words, it is towards the southeast edge, towards the palace hall. The hunters and people playing games in the illustration, the various animals, depictions of heavenly natures, and other elements from various stories are also a part of the depiction. The mosaics, which are dated back to the years 450 and 550 AD, and which are exhibited in the Great Palace Mosaics Museum, is magnificent in terms of both art as well as the richness of the scenes illustrated. There aren't any religious themes in these mosaics. All themes are from daily lives, nature and mythology. The illustrations depicted in the mosaics can be grouped in these eight main categories. Hunting scenes, 
fighting animals, free animals, village life, wilderness life, children, myths and exotic creatures. Various figures on the mosaics include tiger hunts, boar hunts, lion hunts, eagle and snake, lion and bull, deer and snake, bears, horse, foal and mare, monkey hunting bird, breastfeeding mother and a dog, fisherman, the shepherd milking a goat, farmers working in a field, the structure on the fountain, children playing hoops, a little child and dog, two children on a camel and a guide, Dionysus in the form of a child sitting on the shoulders of Pan, Bellerophon and Chimera, a winged lion, an okapi headed leopard with wings and a winged female tiger.